As a homeowner, you may be aware of the importance of maintenance on your HVAC system. However, many of the internal components, such as the evaporator coil, can often be neglected. So why is your evaporator coil so important for your HVAC system? The primary function of the evaporator coil in your HVAC system is to capture the heat from the indoor air of your home or business. Evaporator coils are located in the indoor unit, while the condenser coils are located in the outdoor unit of your system. The effectiveness and performance of the cooling function of your AC system is greatly reduced when the evaporator coil gets dirty. They play a vital role in providing the cooling necessary to generate the cold air that keeps your home or business comfortable even during the hottest of temperatures. The evaporator coil becomes damp during normal use due to the dehumidification process. If your evaporator coil becomes dirty, dirt, pollen, and other particles begin to stick to the evaporator coil as air passes through it. Dirty coils can use up to 40% more energy than air conditioning units with clean coils, as well as reducing the cooling function by an estimated 30% or more. Not only will your AC unit continue to lose performance and efficiency, but your monthly utility bills will continue to skyrocket if your dirty coils are left uncleaned. Checking to see if your evaporator coil needs cleaned is a straightforward and simple process that only takes a few steps. To access the evaporator coil, you will need to remove the access panel. The panel is usually located either at the bottom of the air handler or right above your furnace. You can remove the panel by unscrewing it or lifting it up and out using the clips. To inspect the coils, use a flashlight and look through the access panel. If you see any buildup on the coils, use a soft brush or a cloth to gently remove it. Be careful not to damage the coils. So one potential safety concern when checking or cleaning your evaporator coils is electrical shock. The AC coil is sitting very close to the electrical supply for your indoor unit, so it's so important to make sure you have turned the power off at the breaker before opening up or checking anything on the indoor unit. It's crucial to turn off the AC system and wait for any moving parts to stop before attempting any maintenance on the coils. As the evaporator coil removes humidity from the home, that condensate is actually condensed into water and is run out of the home using a drain line. During normal use of your air conditioning system, that drain line could become clogged with dirt, debris, or other particulates. And if that happens, the water in the drain line can start to back up into the unit, or even worse, into your home. That's why it's important to locate that drain line outside of your home and using a wet dry vacuum, go ahead and clean it out to make sure that any potential clogs are removed so that the system functions the way it's supposed to in the summertime. The air filter is responsible for trapping dirt and other particles in the air, preventing them from clogging the air handler or getting into the airflow of your home. Over time, the filter can become clogged, reducing airflow and efficiency of your air conditioner. Check out our video on airflow for more information on your air filter. Once you've completed these steps, turn the power back on to the air conditioning unit and turn the system on. Allow it to run for a few minutes and begin to check to make sure that there's good airflow and that the air coming out of your vents is cool. If you notice any problems or if at any point during this process you find some issues with the equipment, call the professionals at Pasco Air, Plumbing and Electric. We'll be happy to help.